Excel is a mathematical program. Its real power is in how it can handle numbers, operations, formulas, and functions. This chapter covers working with formulas. A formula is an equation or a mathematical statement that performs calculations on values in your worksheet. All formulas in Excel need to be started with an equal sign. For instance, let's say that I would like to add 2 plus 3. The first thing I need to do is to select the cell that I would like my formula to exist in. So I'll click here on A1 and then to start my formula I need an equal sign. Then I can type in 2 plus 3 and when I press enter on my keyboard my formula is calculated. I have just added 2 plus 3 and the results of 5 displays in A1. Now I can do the same thing in my worksheet by adding two cell references together to get the same formula result of 5. Notice that here in A3 I have the number 2 and here in B3 I have the number 3. So to add these two numbers together using cell references I again will start my formula with an equal sign and then click on A3 and notice in my formula bar I have A3 type a plus sign and then click on B3 and notice that it will add A3 or the number 2 with B3 or the number 3 and when I press enter the formula result of 5 is delivered on your spreadsheet or recalculated. Now the beauty of using cell references is that if I were to change my data such as the 2 to 4 as soon as I enter that new information, the formula recalculates because it's not based on numbers, it's based on the cell reference. So A3 is now 4 and my formula reflects 7. Also, if I were to insert a column here between A and B, let me go ahead and do that. Notice that my formula doesn't break. Automatically Excel knows that there was a new column inserted and adjusts the formula's cell reference to C3. So my formula still calculates the results of 7. Now another very powerful feature that Excel offers is functions and you will find all the functions available in Excel up here on your formulas tab of your ribbon in the function library group. Notice you can insert a function and this will open up a dialog box where you can go ahead and find the function you are interested in or you can go through the various categories of functions that Microsoft has broken up all the functions into by choosing one of these commands. Notice that you have auto sum which allows you to choose the sum, the average, to count numbers, a maximum number or a minimum number as well as you have more functions you can access by clicking more functions. You also have recently used as well as financial, logical, text functions, date and time, lookup and references, math and trig functions as well as more functions that allow you access to statistical functions, engineering functions, cube functions and information functions. Now all of these features put together make Excel very robust in its ability to calculate information and data on your worksheet. You will find that you can create very large complex formulas by using functions and formulas in algebra. This chapter is devoted to formulas so let's move on and explore more about using and creating formulas in Microsoft Excel 2007.